important to know that because our dignity as individuals is at stake. We have to remember that now. Jesus calls us to use our initiative, not just for self-aggrandizing, but that we would act together, that we would act collectively, that we would serve the common good, that we'd sacrifice ourselves by working together for the sake of the common good. Perhaps you notice that just, just recently, Southwest Airlines pilots had all of a sudden all got sick on the same weekend. Amazing. 1,800 flights were canceled. Amazing. They had had a vaccine mandate in their company, and all the unvaccinated were about to be terminated in early December, and they decided to act collectively. Now, that's not acknowledged in the press, not even acknowledged by Southwest Airlines, but Delta Airlines got the message. Delta, much larger carrier, got the message. They dropped the vaccine mandate. They saw what was coming. They saw that workers acting together, acting collectively, had great authority in order to stop the mandate. Delta needs to go even further and drop its additional $200 health care surcharge for the unvaccinated. They don't do that for any other, any other illness, whether you have any, any diabetes issues, any blood pressure issues, those that might be HIV positive, they don't charge surcharge for anyone else except for this. They need to withdraw that mandate. The workers need to stand together. It's that important that we do so. We find the nurses, the nurses who got us through the pandemic, who worked like troopers, those were heroes. Now, the unvaccinated nurses are about to be fired. They once were heroes, and now they're the victim. Is it time for the nurses to have a sick out? Is it time for the nurses to all be sick at the same time in order to make a point? Is it time to seize authority back from the HMOs, even back from the government, to reclaim our own authority as individuals? Now again, remember, it was solidarity of all the Polish people gathered together, solidarity together that overcame communism, that overcame the unjust mandates of a communist government. But only by acting together were they successful. It's that important that they do so. Now, the church didn't take a position either way in Poland. The church was the, was the one that was the arbiter, that was the negotiator, standing between the workers and between the, com and the com communist government. But the notion of solidarity was fully supported, that all of those people would be together. What about the doctors? Doctors now working for HMOs have lost their authority. They used to use science and art to prescribe whatever medicines they thought best in any given case. Now the HMOs have directed them not to use certain medicines, not to use certain therapeutic treatments, not to and do the those doctors things. have lost their voice. The doctors have lost their authority. Is it time for the doctors to also have a sick out? Is it time for them to exercise collectively their authority in order to reassert their authority over the HMOs? Remember, a doctor is not merely an employee of an HMO. A doctor has his own authority, his own black bag to use his science and his art to understand his patient. And that relationship between the doctor and the patient is sacrosanct. His understanding, his skills, his artistry is what you count on for care, not the HMO. They're supposed to provide the pay, not govern the, the type of care that you receive. Is it time for the doctors to reclaim their authority, to reclaim their voice in order that they might have freedom, that you and I might enjoy our own freedoms? These are some of the comings, the things that come out of this teaching of Jesus. He loves initiative. He loves drive. He doesn't want us merely to use it for ourselves, to use it selfishly, merely to self-aggrandize. He wants us to use it for the common good. He wants us to use it to serve others. And he reminds us, the greatest will be the ones who serve the rest.